Hi guys, Matt with Modern Artisan here. Long time no see. Uh, here we are. This is part one of this changing table video that I built for my granddaughter. Uh, it is a uh, solid maple drawers there. It's white poplar or painted poplar and a cherry top. It's a fun project, so let's dive in. Uh, normally I'll start with a uh, an idea. I'll kind of sketch it out, kind of a brainstorming on paper type thing. And uh, nothing too neat or specific, just an idea. So that was my original idea. The end product ended up pretty close to that. It's basically a, a dresser with a changing table tray on top. Uh, so then what I'll do, whether it's cabinets or something like this, I'll draw it up and specifically part it out and put dimensions on it. And that helps me to start uh, making parts. So let's dive in. As always, uh, subscribe. And uh, for the second part of the video and other videos coming up, I uh, appreciate it. of our projects uh, this one just starts out with uh, cutting out a lot of raw material so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here um, just a lot of cutting sheet goods with uh, with the track saw okay here's a quick tip um, <clears throat> I sometimes forget to talk about this stuff because I forget what I didn't know when I was first starting to do this stuff but uh, so I use UV treated plywood for the inside of like cabinet boxes and in this case it's a uh, uh, This is a changing table, which is like a uh, like kind of a dresser piece of furniture but uh, so anything that's like inside of a cabinet or inside of The box where the drawers are gonna be which you know will technically never even be seen I just use this pre-finished uh, UV treated <clears throat> plywood and so it comes this way finished on both sides It's kind of just a a uh, I don't even know how they do it with UV, I guess, but uh, <laughs> but it's a it's kind of just a cleanable, simple finish. But it's ready to go. So um, so inside of cabinets and stuff like that, outside, I never have to seal them or uh, finish them in any way. I just I just have this as the um, exposed edges. So then you know drawers and stuff. That's different. I make those out of of maple, or they they do have sealer on them or something. But there it is, UV treated plywood available everywhere so all that's happening here uh, when I'm not on my phone I am uh, labeling the parts and marking out where all the slots for the dominoes go uh, so we can assemble that box and so mark behind me is just cutting all the domino slots with the domino What we've got here is failure to communicate. Now, what we've got here is the bones of our changing table here, uh, which is all three quarter inch uh, plywood construction, uh, dominoes, glue, and uh, pocket screws, wherever we can get them. So super strong, uh, makes for a heavy piece of furniture, but it's uh, 
it's uh, it's gonna be good. It's very strong. I might put a sign on it that says in case of a tornado get in this box because it's that heavy duty. So uh, anyways, that step is complete and the rest of it just kind of dressing it up and building out the inside. So this side is cabinet, this side is drawers. And uh, I actually forgot to put the pinholes here for an adjustable shelf. So I get to do that now after it's a pain. So, but onward and upward. Incidentally, that is all cherry wood that I'm working on that I found on the top rack, plain down, cut, and uh, there it is, kind of ready to go. Okay, so <clears throat> I got my three boards here that I have planed down. They used to be eight quarters, or six quarters, and uh, so now, I don't know, they're probably about an inch now or a little more. Uh, so, because one of them was warped and I had to really get a lot off of it. So I, I had to play more off of it than normal. So uh, I don't have a, I sold my joiner. And so what I'm gonna do to get these nice and tight is I'm actually gonna put a track saw and I'm gonna line it up right down the joint. So when the blade goes down, these are tight enough that when the blade goes down, it'll cut just a little bit off of each side of that joint. And then when they go together, they'll fit nice and tight. So that's the plan. So I just made a cut down and the blade hit both boards. And so it's kind of cheating, but I've never had anybody tell me why I can't and it works really good. So the blade goes down, it hits both sides pull out and then you've got um, you know the two sister sides of the cut that come together perfectly so kind of way to cheat and not use a joiner works good for this so I'm gonna domino these and we're gonna glue them up and uh, then they'll be good for tomorrow all right I'm just gonna mark these out there's a guide that you can put on that but it's really not worth it for what I'm doing here so I'm just gonna mark uh, basically what's got to happen if you want to come over here you kind of see the spacing doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go every several, several inches and make a mark across the joint. And then that, um, and then, and then that, and now I can just line it up with the woodpecker and that's good enough. Not the woodpecker, the domino. The woodpecker. So then what happens is, <clears throat> when I do these, I haven't got this set up yet, but just to give you an idea, there's a little gauge on here that's transparent. So if you come over here, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a line right there and I can line it up right with that line. So super easy you just need a line to, to go with all right like I said we got an eight millimeter by hundred millimeter domino and so uh, to set the plunge depth on this this will plunge all the way to 70 uh, because the largest domino they have is hundred and forty and so you're plunging half of that depth um, I have hundreds so we really only need to plunge 50 sometimes I'll plunge 50 on one side and add five millimeters maybe do 55 on the other just so I know if I put a little too much glue in or something like that, um, we're okay. I, I'm i going, and then this is the, uh, the width of the hole. You can do really tight or you can do a little bit of room. I will leave a little bit of room because it's not critical for what we're doing. And so with that, that kind of leaves extra room for glue to squeeze out too. Um, so 50 and 50 is probably adequate for what we're doing. And that's really only if you put, I, I've had it where you put, 
at, when I first started using this, I put too much glue in and too tight of a hole. And then the hydraulic pressure, you just could not squeeze those together. There's no way. So I'm just a little uh, cautious on that, but I, I don't put as much glue in as I used to. So it's, it's probably fine. Um, all right, let's drill these out. I'm gonna take this over here. We'll turn on our vacuum. Stick it down, it's stuck. And then we'll just line up with all these holes. All right, so yeah, the, uh, the vacuum is so nice. I mean, so nice. You just, I mean, it's completely, it sticks itself down to this. It sticks this down to it. So it's just a solid working spot. It's even off and you can't move it. So you just gotta hit the pedal, pull it off. Um, when you drill that out, you gotta make sure you cannot run the domino, either domino without a vacuum, uh, cause it's gotta pull the junk out. But even, even with the vacuum running, you still gotta get the extra out. So, so one done, two more to go. Okay, so we've skipped a little bit. Here's our cherry slab that we put together. Uh, we're now routering a kind of a fancy edge on it. So uh, it's been cut to size and sanded a little bit at least. And uh, so now we're just um, putting that edge. So it's upside down. That edge will be to the downside of the cabinet. Just a decorative thing to dress it up. Yeah, and then now Mark is just um, cutting all the one by cherry that's that goes on top and forms the tray and the little cubbies uh, on the tabletop for the changing table and just cutting some curves and making it nice. All right, so uh, Mark, the other guy, got this stuff cut out. Um, looks really good. This cherry one by, it's just kind of loose on here. We mitered the corners. We got some partitions here. Uh, I really like what he did. We kind of saw a picture online of uh, of one for sale that was like this. So basically, it's kind of, uh, what, the inverse or symmetric or something where it pops up here and, and drops down. So I think that's going to be a good look. It's all built around the dimensions of this uh, cushion we got from Pottery Barn uh, for the changing table. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, we're gonna round this over with a router, probably eighth inch. Uh, and then the partitions, I think we're going to drop those. We'll rip those maybe a quarter inch or so off of those. Uh, so they sit a little bit lower than where where that uh, radius goes. I think that'll look better. So uh, all in all, looks really good. I'm excited to put it together. All right, good morning, guys. This thing has been, uh, this tray for the top of the changing table has been sitting for a couple days, uh, which is, didn't need to, I've just been busy. So we'll get, we'll get that unclamped. Uh, it's Saturday. I want to make some progress on this because uh, my regular job has kind of been killer. We got some sanding to do on some parts. And uh, I got to figure out what I'm going to do for legs on the cabinet, which is sitting back there. I kind of have an idea, but I just don't want this thing to turn into some big monster with all these extra parts and stuff. So <clears throat> we're going to think through that, try and get this thing <coughs> put together. Uh, yeah, we'll have some fun now. Okay. Exciting. See what it looks like. See if it falls apart. Okay. Cool. We'll get this thing cleaned up. Uh, 
I'm going to put dominoes on the base and uh, to fasten it to the top, we'll make it all one piece and uh, we'll get it finished. That part will be done. So if you haven't figured it out already, this is the face frame. This is made out of one by Poplar. Uh, and so we're using dominoes and glue to put together the face frame. That's will be painted white. Poplar is a good, good uh, wood for getting a nice finish. It's a real clear, real hard wood, so it works good. So this will be screwed onto the front of the box as, as soon as it's assembled. And now onto the drawers. So you can kind of see in the drawing there that he's looking at um, what there's a parts list on there uh, with how many uh, and what size. So we're making those out of solid maple one by. Um, I've used you know particle board or whatever and laminated it, but I just I just like making them out of solid maple. It makes a real nice um, drawer for a lifetime, basically. Hopefully. Then the inside of all the drawers have to have this quarter inch dado cut and uh, that groove holds the uh, drawer bottoms which is this quarter inch birch plywood. So there you can see the, the groove that we're cutting in all of those. And now pocket screws, lots of pocket screws. So those work good and they'll be concealed because the front will be behind the uh, drawer front and the back you can't see. So it works well, that's our system. Then here's just using a router to uh, put a uh, nice slight radius, probably like an eighth inch radius on the top of those um, drawers. So they look nice and feel nice. That's something else you can't do unless it's hardwood. now is work on these maple drawers. Uh, so the way that we like to make drawers is make them out of solid maple. Um, these are uh, these will be assembled with dominoes. Usually I use uh, five millimeter by 30 millimeter. I was out of those so we are using four millimeter by I think it's 20 or 24 which is the little guys as small as it gets. So um, it'll be uh, it'll be dominoes, glue, uh, and pocket screws. So the pocket screws are on the front and back of the cabinet. The, the sides which come out will be fully exposed, so no po pocket screws there. But we will have, um, we'll have drawer fronts on the front of the cabinets that'll cover this, and then the back of the cabinets you can't see. So, uh, so dominoes, glue, pocket screws, su super strong.
um, really good construction. Uh, so whenever you're building a drawer, it really goes off of the hardware that you're, you're using. So um, the, we use the uh, Blum, Blum slides, soft close. And uh, so the particular ones we're using, we need a half inch below the bottom of the cabinet for that hardware. Um, so we have routed a groove for our cabinet bottoms to go in that in there. Uh, but <clears throat> that's kind of the first thing to figure out if you're making drawers is look at the hardware and see uh, how big it's got to be, how deep it can go, and things like that. So uh, we're ready to go, and we're going to roll the cameras while we're assembling this. Should go pretty good if we did it right. All right, guys, the drawers are the end of part one. Uh, stick around for part two in a separate video I'm releasing the same day where we will assemble and paint and stain and uh, get this thing all ready to uh, baby ready for moving. So see you then. Thanks. Bye.